Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In last two videos we have discussed about two major deals for the fighter jets. The first one being 57 fighters for Indian Air Force and second one is 26 deck based fighter for Indian Navy. From what it seems India is now looking to further sweeten this deal with engine development program for which it's in discussion with French engine manufacturer Safran and UK's engine giant Rolls Royce. However, there seems to be a third contender in this deal. As reported by Hindustan Times, the carrier based fighter deal is expected to be linked with larger strategic arrangement with country involved as New Delhi is looking for aircraft engine manufacturing under AAP Nirbhar Bharat initiative with participation of Indian private sector companies. While French Safran is keen to manufacture 100 kN engines with Indian entities without any precondition, Defence Ministry is also exploring the same with US as G404 engine is used in indigenous Tejas fighter and G414 being considered for twin engine advanced multi role combat MCA project of the DRDO. Now, back in August, HLNG has contracted a deal worth $716 million with G Aviation for the supply of 99 engines for LCA Tejas, including support and services. India will have much bigger requirement for G414 engines that will power 6 to 7 squadrons of Tejas Mark II, first two squadrons of MCA and also TEDBF. This is huge requirement of engine and a billion dollar contract for GE. At the same time, it will ease the maintenance overhaul of the engines with local manufacturer similar to what HAL is doing for AL31FP engines powering Su-30 MKIs. Earlier, GE has refused the transfer of technology for the engine because of which India has been discussing in parallel with France and UK for engine development. France and UK both have committed on more collaboration on defense technology including engine development to support Make in India move. Back in December 2021, the Defence Minister Sri Rajnath Singh had informed that France has agreed to make an engine in India under a strategic partnership model. He further added that such an engine is currently not even being made in France. The engine will have next generation FADEC and low IR signature. Safran and GTRE will be working on developing a new core derived from the existing M88 core with modifications to achieve higher thrust requirement of more than 110 kN. Once the work starts on the engine development, we can expect the core of engine to be ready in next 3 to 4 years. A flight worthy engine can be expected in another 6 to 7 years. Last year, it was also reported that British firm Rolls-Royce has said it is keen to work with India to co-develop and manufacture engines for country's fifth generation fighter aircraft program called AMCA. The president of Rolls-Royce India and South Asia also said the country will own the intellectual property rights for the engines if there is a partnership. He also added, our keenness is on co-creation concept. Because at the end of the day, when we co-create, we are generating IP and the IP is, is generated locally. When a product is designed in India, manufactured in India, you create your supply chain and you create services concept. It creates a whole new ecosystem in Indian aerospace sector. The company currently powers Indian Air Force Jaguar deep penetration aircraft, Hawk trainers and C-130J Super Hercules. Rolls-Royce also wants to bring in hybrid engine for marine systems to power Navy's next generation of vessels. At present, Indian Navy heavily relies on Ukrainian engine for its warship. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this. I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector